Don't steal people's money. Steve Burtis is taking care of business. A lot of creeps out there, if not for superhero, Marvel superstar Steve Burnus, anti-fraud man. It's not a great name. We're working on it. <laughs> Superman. I like Superman. I, mean, I think it was taken last I heard. Oh, I think so. That's <laughs> right. You're right. Uh, today is use your gift card day. Did you know that? It's a, no, it's Saturday. Actually. Oh, it's Saturday? I thought it was Saturday. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Well, for the sake of this yeah. bit, for the sake of this segment, I should say. It's not a bit. For the sake of this segment, let's say it's today. Um, <clears throat> every day. It should be every day, Steve. You're right. So take all those gift cards that you have and figure out a way to use them. It's cash. It's money. It's yeah. uh, just sitting there. I have so many of those. It's right. $23 billion is unspent in, that consumers have, Steve. That's a lot of money that's sitting there. Everybody has them in their drawers. About 47% of Americans have at least one somewhere, and they should use it or lose yeah. it. Uh, because what happens, they may not expire, but the company may go out of business, which happened with some major retailers over the years and consumers are left in bankruptcy court and they get nothing for those gift cards so it's best to use them people want you to use them and uh, get them out of your drawers and saturday is uh you know use your gift card day and we want consumers to take it back yeah because andre gave me an enron gift card years ago yeah. <laughs> I, bet I gotta use the one for arthur <laughs> treachers you got treachers <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so how, how do people steal uh, the value of these or steal them from us what are they doing well, basically what they do is sometimes they steal is they, they, they have websites, they check your balance and, um, you know, uh, you put your card number in and your pin number and they guess what? They steal your balance. So make sure you only deal with the retailer itself directly. Uh, that's what usually happens is some of you, you know, can't steal your balance uh, if you give them the card number and or picture on the back. And just be very careful of any company you're dealing with and do the research on them first. Steve, can you still register your gift card, too, you know, if you if you know you're not yeah. going to be using it for a while? Some retailers do. So, every, Andrea, okay. every retailer is different. So you have to call the retailer or go online and see if they can register. But it is a great idea to register your gift card so nobody else uses it. And uh, you get sometimes they send you reminders as well that you have these gift cards because they want you to use it. And obviously they're holding the cash on the side available. A good question from a listener. If ownership of a restaurant changes names, are they still liable to, for the gift card? Do you, is the gift card still good? No, not usually not. They don't buy the assets. They, buy, they don't buy the liabilities. Wow. The oh, that's assets. interesting. It's so, uh, a good point to make. Yes. Yeah, that is. It is a good point. Steve, I have a question for you about, obviously, we all online shop before the holidays, you know, buy, buy gifts, have them sent to your house, wrap them up, give them away. I've been getting a lot of emails and pop-up ads, too, now for the merchants, the, the retailers where I shopped, whether it's, you know, Dick Sporting Goods, Ann Taylor Loft, whatever it is, those pop up. And then someone said, don't click on those links, go to the actual site as well. Is that the right thing to do? It is, Andre, because you don't know if those actually those pictures are actually going to the website directly or just a, a different yeah. website with one character different. It's too hard to tell on where it's going on those pictures. So, yes, don't click on links. It's getting to the bad where everything, the phishing emails and all those scams out there, go to the website directly of the retailer. Because at one point we did our study earlier last year, and 65% of the consumers who filed complaints on online companies had no intention of buying the product that morning which means they didn't check that retailer out and uh, they think it's going to a well-known retailer. It could be going to you know, XYZ company with just one more character and you don't even know. We're talking to Steve Burness from the Better Business Bureau. If people want to check out gift cards or anything else in regards to validity and fraud and all that, what do they do? They go to our website, bbb.org, and we have all this information about you know, gift cards and other scams. And the only way to stop scams is not to give them your business. That's the only way that's going to happen. And the more, edu more educated you become on these scams and what's out there, the better consumer you will be, Steve. And is there a quantitative study of why people behaviorally don't use these gift cards? We just forget about them. We don't see them as money. What, what, what do we know about that? Well, they, what they have said to us, the experts, is basically people just put it in a drawer and forget about it. It's just like sometimes you have cash laying around and you just forget about where you put it. And if you think about it, I've got gift cards, too, that I have and I haven't used and the retailer's gone. And we're all guilty of it. But we just want to remind consumers to use them as fast as possible. It's a lot of money. That's, you know, $23 billion. I'm sure it's more north of there. But that's what the studies are showing. It's about $23 billion. There's a lot more out there. Hey. I'm no, sorry, Steve. I'm, I'm, I have a lot of cash. When does that expire? Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me, and we'll, I'll let you yeah. know. Okay. Exactly. I think right. it depends that on who wins. Reasonable. I think yeah. it depends on who wins in November. Okay. Because oh, if it's go. Biden or Trump, it all expires. There you go. Exactly, <laughs> Steve. The gift cards don't expire in Illinois anymore, do they? 
Correct. They don't okay. expire as well. Some have uh, the value goes away. You know, they have uh, you know, penalties. Yeah. If you don't use it after a certain period of time, but no, they they still retain their value. All right. So yeah. you, you started this off by telling us how we get busted for this. How do they scam us by the same old typical email that says, "Hey, your uh, reminder, you have a gift card. Check the value out," and it's just phishing, hoping that you do. Yeah, hoping you do. That's one of the ways, Steve. They hope you do have the gift card, but also they do uh, clone websites, so they may look like it's from coming from Kohl's and saying, "Hey, you were a customer of ours. You have a gift card. Click here and put give us your information." Or they want to steal your identity in some way. So if anybody says they can help you in some way, Steve, out of the blue, that's usually the tip off to the rip off. Yeah. Um, wow. What if I were to do this? What if I gave you my Montgomery Ward and my Woolworths for anything you have that's still in business? Would you be willing to swap? Uh, for you, Steve, I'd do anything. Yeah, you know. you're the best, Ernest. Right. That's good. That's good. So check your gift cards. It's a good thing to do. You don't need to wait until Saturday. It's scammy little, no. don't, mm-hmm. that's the wrong word, or that uh, uh, the way to hook people's attention on Saturday by saying it's gift card day. It's gift card day every day. Exactly. So uh, nice. $23 billion in unspent gift yeah. cards. Wow. Well, that, that actually balances out from the shoplifting. So oh, no. Yeah. It comes out about equal. By the way, I checked out the BBB website a couple of days ago. I had to check out a company, and I went on, and BBB gave them a, a it was a B-minus rating, but it was still good enough to, where I'd said, okay, I'll, well, do, that, I'll that, do business that, with See, them. that's interesting. So, Steve, when do we get to the area of your gradations where you should be concerned? Uh, below a B is something that they don't meet our standards. So, right, B or higher, they do meet our standards because some companies have lots of complaints because of the business or industry they're in, but we want to make sure they take care of their complaints. And then we have the F-rated companies where a lot of F-rated companies that, you know, we know about and they don't answer their complaints. But consumers think because they have a business, they're a good business, you know, because they may not find anything online about them. But you do the research on the company. Uh, my biggest frustration in my career, Steve, has been consumers who do all the work after they've been scammed or taken by a bad business. They should have done all the work ahead of time, yeah. like Andrea did, is contact the Better Business Bureau first. And, 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 and when businesses get a lower grade, they do have an opportunity to fix it and get a higher grade, yes? They do, of course. It's all based on algorithms. So they, the only way they improve it is they have to improve their complaint ratio or governmental action or whatever it may be. We we uh, place a lot of uh, you know resources on these companies, and we do some due diligence about their background as well. Uh, Steve, uh, Better Business Bureau uh, website again is? Uh, BBB.org, before you buy or hire, BBB it. Yeah. Thank you, buddy.